there are many things that affect the medium and long term outlook for an economy, the pace of technical change, investment rates and so on. Those are affected by public policy, but some go on independent of public policy. Uh, but what's really important, is, when you look around the world, the large welfare states, the large heterogeneous societies, like in Europe, for example, that are well, more, used to be called advanced, I would call bloated welfare states, uh, have had lower growth over the last quarter century, substantially lower growth than the more modest uh, level of government we have in the U.S. I think we can uh, trim our level of government back closer to where it was pre-crisis. We do have the impending uh, baby boomers growing, uh, uh, growing numbers in retirement that may, may require, as we rejigger health care and Social Security, may require some additional spending and taxes. But that's well into the future. We need to get uh, the base level of government down to something that's more reasonable and fits into what our sensible roles of government that the government needs to do and we need the government to do well, not try to be all things to all people, not t every time we have a problem rather than targeting it on a small, uh, you know, like a rifle shot, we have a shotgun that shoots everything and tries to extend those benefits to everybody and causes uh, a lot of problems in the economy. So I think having a relatively uh, modest hand of government in the economy and taxes and spending and regulation is important uh, and is perhaps the most vital underpinning of a successful long-run democratic capitalism in the U.S. and the Western world.